A week or so ago, I made a video about why so many woodworkers have abandoned their Western style push saws in favor of Japanese style pull saws. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link to it below. I think you're gonna find it fascinating. It turns out there may be a lot you didn't know about hand saws. Videos like that often lead to lively discussions in the comment section. And among the most interesting I saw was the debate over which is faster, a saw that cuts on the push stroke or one that cuts on the pull stroke. Some are very insistent that a saw cutting on the push stroke is faster because you can put your weight behind it. While others are just as insistent that a saw that cuts on the pull stroke is better, faster, because of how the human body is designed or for any number of other reasons. Of course, it's always best just to go out to the shop and see for yourself. So that's what I did. I selected several different saws, some that cut with a push, others that cut with a pull. And I made several cuts, some with the grain, others across the grain. I even made some fine joinery cuts. And while the results seem to go one way at first, there is an unexpected twist that you really have to stick around for. I'm going to start with the Japanese Ryoba, using the edge that's filed with rip teeth. I'm going to link to all the saws that I'm using in this video below in case there's one that you want to find out more about or even try out. I didn't count the couple of small strokes it took to start the saw, but once it bit in, I counted each of the pull strokes, and it took 24 of them to reach my line. Now I'll do the same with this beautiful sharpened Distin rip saw. Again, I let it get started before I begin counting, then it took me 18 strokes to reach my line. So the western saw took 25% fewer strokes than the pull saw. Of course, it had a distinct advantage. It has five and a half teeth per inch, while the Ryoba pull saw has seven teeth per inch. Having fewer teeth allows it to take a more aggressive bite and therefore cut faster. I really wanted an apples to apples comparison, but if you go to a hardware store to find a Western style rip saw, you're unlikely to find one. They're still available in specialty shops, but most consumer saws today are generically called tooth saws. They feature triple ground teeth, and they claim to cut in both the push and the pull direction, whether it's a rip cut with the grain or a cross cut across the grain. So let's see how it compares. Again, giving it a chance to start, then counting 19 strokes to my line. Pretty much the same as the distant rip saw. Now that's interesting, because the DeWalt saw is supposed to cut on the push and the pull stroke, but in actual practice, it wasn't twice as fast. More on that later. Now let's try some cross cuts. I'm going to start with the cross-cut edge of my Ryoba. Keep in mind, I'm letting the tool do the work. I'm not trying to force the saw to win a race, because that leads to crappy cuts, and in real life, we shouldn't work that way. And the result was 27 pull strokes. Now, I'll use another beautiful distance saw, this time with cross-cut teeth. This one has 8 teeth per inch, which is, again, more aggressive than the 9.5 teeth per inch on the cross-cut side of my Ryoba. And I finish the cut, in 23 push strokes, only four fewer. Now let's give that hybrid saw a go. This was interesting, because as you recall, it wasn't any faster than the single cut western rip saw in those rip cuts. But at just 15 push strokes, it was a lot faster than the 23 strokes of the single cut western cross cut saw. The reason is clear. These are not rip teeth. The only reason they were able to keep up with a properly filed rip saw was because they cut somewhat in two directions. Essentially, they cut with the grain only half as well, but they get in twice as many strokes. But if you're cutting across the grain, as this type of beveled edge tooth is designed to do, they can really take advantage of that double cutting action and get through the wood faster. It's really not a bad saw for rough work. So let's try some finer cuts. First, I'll compare two all-purpose joinery saws, a Western-style tenon saw and a Japanese-style kataba. Because I'm making shorter cuts, I'll be doing three per saw and then adding them up. Once the saw bit in, it took me 15 pull strokes to complete the three kerfs with the kataba. And with the carcass saw, it takes 12 push strokes. That's pretty close, only one more stroke per kerf. Now let's compare a finer pair of saws, the Western-style dovetail saw and a Japanese dazuki. Again, if you want to know more about the differences in these three types of pull saws that I'm using, check out the link to the video below. The Jizuki completed the three cuts in 15 pull strokes, and the dovetail saw did it in 15 push strokes, so they're equal. In my opinion, when it comes to these finer joinery saws, 
it's really a tie between the speed of a push cut and the speed of a pull cut. And frankly, you could easily add a stroke or take away a stroke on any of these cuts if any of these saws are used a little more aggressively, forcing it through the cut. And that's where the twist in this whole test is. I went back and made those cross cuts again, because after all, most people are using hand saws for rough cross cuts these days, and it's more about speed than pure quality. So this time, I was more aggressive. Instead of letting the tool do the work, I used two hands and more of my own strength to help it along. This reduces the quality of the cut, but it sure speeds things up. And here's what happened. The DeWalt hybrid saw took 19 push strokes. I believe this was mostly because of its otherwise convenient short toolbox length. The distant crosscut saw took 15 push strokes, much faster than its previous 23. But the Ryoba only needed nine pull strokes. Why so few? Because it was very easy to apply a lot of downward pressure using two hands with its long straight handle. And that's the problem between arguing about whether it's better to cut with a push or a pull stroke. Not everyone treats their tools the same way or does the same type of work. In my case, when I'm focusing on accuracy and quality of cut, letting the tool do the work, I do think the extra weight and more aggressive teeth common to many Western style push saws do make them a little faster for dimensional rips and cross cuts. And when I'm letting the tool do the work, I found no difference between the speed of a Western style joinery saw and a Japanese style joinery saw. But when I wanted to rough dimension quickly, I found that the straight handle of the Japanese pole saw made it easier for me to cut aggressively in the position I was working at the bench. If I was leaning over my work, such as kneeling on top of a low saw bench, pushing downward, maybe the western saw would have been faster. So we're never going to solve this debate, and that's fine, because whichever style you prefer is fine with me. Don't forget to use the links below if you're looking for a saw or if you're interested in seeing that deeper dive video I made about these Japanese saws, and I'll see you next time. We use blade guards and push sticks and safety glasses and hearing protection to keep us safe because we want to enjoy this craft for many years to come. But what about our lungs? I like Trend Stealth masks because they have silicone bodies that fully seal on my face. This is important to me because a leaky mask is a useless mask. The original Stealth features a compact size, easily adjustable dual straps for a proper fit on your face, a downward facing exhale valve that won't fog your glasses, and replaceable N100 filters. The Stealth Lite looks like an ordinary disposable mask, but it features the same silicone seals, an advanced head strap system, and a downward facing exhale valve. The 0.3 micron filter is replaceable as well. I switched to Trend Stealth masks for my dusty work a couple years ago because they offer the advanced protection of a larger canister respirator in a less cumbersome size that's comfortable to wear all day long. Check them out at the link below the video.